Little People Big World canceled but Matt Roloff still open to filming. Hello friends, welcome to my channel, I am Helen, hope your day is so well. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel. Matt Roloff is clutching at the family show that gripped his heart and time for years. Although TLC has officially canceled Little People Big World, he is still open to filming episodes. After Matt Roloff and his son Zatch had a major family feud over the farm sale, Little People Big World was never the same again. The TLC stars have been waiting to hear back on the show's future for ages. Little People Big World canceled. In May, Matt, 62, was yet to receive a call from executives about the fate of the show after the season finale aired on April 25. He felt the show had ended on a good note, but there was no confirmation. Six months on, a source has now told the U.S. Sun the show is canceled, and the network has no plans to film in the future. The insider simply confirmed the rumors and said, Little People is done. They were going to end the show before doing weddings. It's been a long time coming. It doesn't really have anything to do with the cast members. But many had been ready for it to be over, said the source. Matt Roloff still open to filming Matt Roloff has been open to filming LPB Do for months. While the decision on whether to keep the show going remained up in the air, all he could do was wait for a phone call from producers. The source claimed Matt was the last person still eager to film, as the members picked up huge paychecks. But his wife-to-be, Karen Chandler, was ready for it to end. Matt has this workaholic don't-stop attitude and couldn't stop himself from doing more seasons, but Karen is mostly happy it's now done," added the U.S. Sun source. Zatch and Tori Roloff reminded their fans to turn to the Lord with thanksgiving rather than only praying when times are hard. We can sometimes only pray when we're in a season of difficulty. Jelly Roll talks about this in one of his songs, I Need a Favor, is what it's called. It is a great song, and it's so true. We usually pray when we're in need or want something, when something tragic happens, Zash said. But prayer is a constant conversation with God, even in the contentment, even in the calm. So when things are good, you can still send up a prayer of gratefulness or thinking of others. While it is important to pray prayers of thankfulness, Torre also believes Christians should not shy away from asking the Lord for his favor in times of need. I think sometimes I can shy away from prayer when I really need it, like when bad things are happening, she said. But in the other realm I feel like, especially with our kids at dinner time, at bedtime, when we pray with them I'm always like, thank you for this, thank you for this, and it's not a lot of asking with them, it's a lot of just thank you for our home, thank you for our health, thank you for our family. The Roloffs are explaining the balance many struggle to find of being able to pray for all things at all times the Bible encourages Christians to turn to God, no matter what because he cares about the big things and the small things, and he simply delights in hearing our prayers. But when we only turn to him when we need something, though he still cares, we are the ones missing out. Rejoice always, pray without ceasing, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Zatch also reminded their fans that everyone goes through periods of joy and periods of sorrow in their life. So while we are in periods of joy, we should be preparing ourselves for the sorrow. And while we are in periods of sorrow, we can look to the periods of joy coming you pray to prepare yourself for when you will be tested. Will you falter or will you rise to the occasion Zatch said. Emotionally, physically, God has a plan and really believing that and the prayer is not give me this, give me that. It is, prepare me to use these gifts to the best of my ability or prepare me to handle these trials when they approach. The couple exited the show earlier this year. We are done. That part of our lives, that chapter has closed, Tori said. It was no longer a project that we really believed in, and so the last year was hard. They haven't left the public eye, though. The couple keeps up with their podcast, often speaking about their faith and family. Hello friends, welcome to my channel hope your day is so well. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe the channel.